here backstage with the new Cage Warriors lightweight champion, Soren Back. He's just defeated Paddy Pimlet here at Cage Warriors 96. Um, Soren, there's only one place to start. Round one, face down to the mat, rear naked choke locked in. Like, what were you thinking there? Because that choke was applied for a very, very long time. Yeah, I was kind of thinking, this is where I usually put my opponents, so I'll let Paddy take it just to, to fill it out for myself. And then, <clears throat> Paddy got the choke in real tight, and I was thinking to myself, all right, right now you could either tap out, you can go out, or just keep fighting. And I kept fighting. You know, when, you, when you're in that sort of position, um, you know, how long did you think you could last it out? And could you feel Paddy, I guess, kind of tiring as the, as the time went on? I definitely felt Paddy used a lot of energy, both to try and force the submission and forcing, uh, keeping the back. And while I, was, well, I wasn't really using that much energy, other than like, <clears throat> keeping uh, my, my throat on lockdown. Um, so that kind of motivated me th thinking that uh, he was using more uh, strength than I was. You know, when you go back to your corner at the end of a round like that, like what, what were your corner telling you? And like, how, how did you get the momentum to shift so much? Because from, from round two onwards, you looked to really kind of take control of the fight. Yeah, I went to my corner and my, my coach Carson was like, all right, so now we are, now it's a fight. So just dis disregard the first round and go in and do what we really work to do. <clears throat> I think I got the, from that point forward, I had the conditioning edge on Paddy and uh, I could kind of read him on the feet. Uh, and obviously I was more aware, uh, both in the clinch and on the ground. Where, where do you think the fight kind of <clears throat> did turn in, in your favor? Or was there one point that you could, that you can pinpoint, I think he tried to take you down in the second round and you sprawled very well. Yeah. It, was that kind of a definitive moment, I guess, in the fight? Yeah, and, and that's kind of the thing. We, we used a lot of time in our camp to actually focus on that particular takedown that Paddy does. He goes for the single leg and he keeps on holding on the leg. Uh, and just using the elbows from that position, that was, I think that, that kind of was, I think something inside Paddy broke at that point. Did you, um, you know, on the feet, did you feel very comfortable? It seemed to be a lot of the time you were pushing forward, you did take some right hands. Um, uh, you know, how, how powerful were they? And I guess how comfortable did you feel pushing forward? Well, he definitely caught me with a couple of, of right hands, but I think I've, I've been hit with harder stuff and, uh, and I think maybe Paddy's weight, like his real weight is like showing in his punch power. Uh, so. I think I definitely hit him harder in, in the exchanges we did in the stand-up. What was it like walking out in front of that crowd tonight? It was, uh, you know, it was pretty sparse uh, in places in the building, but there were a lot of people in there making a lot of noise. Um, how did it feel walking out in front of the Liverpool crowd? It was amazing. The Liverpool crowd is fantastic. Uh, and just seeing all the angry faces going down the, the red carpet, I loved it. Um, <laughs> it's just amazing. There was one point where they, throw, where they threw money at me in the cage, and I'm like, no, I'm got, not getting paid as much as Paddy, but you can at least throw some, some real money. Don't, don't throw your coins at me. You know, when you do get your hand raised in, in this kind of building, does it make you kind of want to take the cage warriors perhaps maybe back to Denmark to, to get that feeling yourself of being in front of your hometown fans? Definitely. We have talked with cage warriors and, and told them we're going to fill the arena in Copenhagen if they come there. So definitely hook me up. That's one option, but of course, uh, a lot of people are going to be talking about the UFC. Um, you know, the, in the UFC right now, there aren't that many Danish fighters. Do you, do you believe now's the time for you to make that step up? Yeah, I, th I think many of the Danish fighters that went to UFC, they kind of did it a, maybe a little too fast, some of them. And I think I really took the long road. I'm taking on the real tough opponent in the top of MMA in, in Cage Warriors. I'm taking out everybody. So I'm ready. I'm ready for the UFC. And just one final one, what's kind of the message to those fans that turned up tonight? The, yeah, as I said, there was a partisan Liverpool crowd, but there was also a nice group of uh, Danish people there supporting yeah. you. So what's kind of the message to those guys with this new belt around your waist? Yeah, the, the Viking raiding party. We're going out and we're raiding Liverpool tonight, my friends. Friends, family, my beautiful wife, training partners, everyone was there. Thank you so much. Soren, congratulations on your victory and uh, well done for being the new Cage Warriors lightweight champion. Thank you, sir. Thank you.